What's up, everybody? It's Lids, and we're back for some more Witcher 2. And this time around, we are headed off to none other than the amphitheater, where we expect to see things really get kicked off here in Lockmoy. Oh, and uh, we are technically going to have to fight our way through here, of course. They're just going to let us in. As you just heard them say, general perception is, of course, still that we are the Kingslayer. However true, that may or may not be. Oh, hit me, bro. No. Enough of that. One down. As for you... Not so fast. Oh, we can. What? <laughs> we can destroy these columns. And that's really cool. Hold on. Oh? Doesn't work here, though? Darn. Was I just imagining things? Did that not actually happen? Does it work on this one and not the one over there where that guy's standing? Oh, now you're loading the crossbow. I'm afraid I can't let you do that. Fine, do it the board. Oh, Might hello. Have tried to reason with them. Chris? Easier this way. Trust me. Path's clear. Can we go? I suppose so. Tris, you might want to get your face cleaned up a little bit. You know, it's been a little while now, and you know, you've had the opportunity to not look like you just got out of a fight. Or, you know, like you did not just break out of prison. I need to do something first. Alright, but don't take too long. Most notably, I need to loot those people that we- Whoa, superb longsword, you say? Um, where's the other one? Also a superb longsword. Let's just verify. I am doubtful that that will actually be better than what we're currently using. Yeah, it's terrible in comparison to what we're currently using. So, we don't really need it. Well, the gargoyle trophy we did get at the end of the last episode, and I was curious how this might compare to what we're currently using. And it does have more armor, it has less vitality. Uh, I think the Drog Trophy is probably still a little bit better. So I think we'll stick with what we're currently using. I don't think we picked up anything in the very brief time in which we last checked our inventory, so we should be good now. Can we go it. now? No time to lose. Everything will be revealed at last. Well... Hopefully, I think. Whether you like it Maybe. or not, John Natalis, Tamaria will be divided. For the good of the entire North. The united forces of Kedwin and Redania will end the fighting among the Elder Houses and secure peace from Gorsvelen to Elendor. At present, Tamaria is starting to resemble the Pontar Valley. Which, if I understand correctly, is currently controlled by Edda. You are mistaken, Radovid. Vergen is free. Free? What precisely does that mean? Lormark is not Kedwin's, and Edda no longer controls Upper Edda. We have rejected Prince Stennis. King Stennis? And handed King Hensel's army a resounding defeat. Your forces, my dear lass, are nothing but a motley array of rebellious peasants and elven brigands. Sooner or later, they will need to swear allegiance to someone, or they will be defeated and dispersed. The peoples of the Pontar Valley will swear allegiance to me, Queen Saskia. As an independent realm, we hereby speak in favor of reconstituting the Council and Conclave. You're oh, a lady, hey, Sheila. But you issue from common stock. The sole crown you are worthy of donning is a wreath woven of wildflowers. Redania will recognize no other coronation. In that case, you must choose King Radovid. Will you carve up to Maria? or march on the Pontar Valley. Henselt, last of the line of the unicorns, has sworn to recognize the Pontar Valley as a free realm. Philippa Eilhart witnessed it. Uh, uh, uh. Philippa Eilhart is in my dungeon, awaiting trial for treason. She was in your dungeon, Radovid, but is no longer. She will sit at my side in Bergen as my royal advisor. Hey guys, how's it going? Nice to see you all.
Okay. Hi. To the matter at hand. The document describing the charter of the Council and the Conclave is, as previously ascertained, an exact copy of the charter found in the ruins on Thanet Island. The more important question relates to the Conclave and its power to designate royal advisors. Today, really? randomly That's chosen you're worried mages about? and sorceresses reside at many courts. However, in the time of the previous Conclave, such persons were carefully chosen. Why shouldn't we pick our own advisors? These individuals bear great responsibility, Your Majesty. The Conclave needs to be certain they are competent. And so we'll make sure that they're all members and of... they will keep the Conclave's interests in. The sorceresses. Obviously, sire. The Conclave's chief interest is the well-being and prosperity of the Northern Kingdoms. The document has been signed by every member of the Conclave we have proposed as well as by all but one of the designated advisors. We await only Sheila de Tanserville's signature. Without our royal seals, you should be allowed to designate advisors to Cowherd at most. That is true, Your Majesty. Sheila de Tanserville should never be allowed to sign this document. Triss Merigold, you decided to join us after all. De Tanserville has royal blood on her hands. She can't sit on the Conclave. That is a lie. Have you anything to support these claims, Mary Gold? There are witnesses who will confirm that Sheila de Tanserville was behind the assassinations of Demavend and Foltest. Officials of the future Council and Conclave. Sheila de Tanserville should be arrested and tried. If Triss Marigold speaks the truth, Lady de Tanserville will be condemned to death. Oh, Radovid's awfully quick to agree with Triss, but it's not gonna be that simple, right? Okay, this is the Order of the Flaming Rose, so they should be with Radovid. Sheila de Tanserville, until Triss Marigold's charges are dismissed or refuted, you cannot sit on the Conclave. Arrest her. This is too easy. Hold on. Sheila's not gonna go down without a fight. You don't know the whole truth. Marigold doesn't know what she's talking about. Okay. Um, she's about to do something, in case that isn't immediately clear. Um, is that, or is that not Saskia? I think that's Saskia. Did anyone... Did anyone really not realize that thing coming? There's nobody watching Saskia. Ah, uh, yep. And Saskia is mind controlled by Philippa. And Philippa is with Sheila, and therefore making sure that Sheila is safe. So yeah, you know, not helping out Philippa, and by extension, Saskia may mean that we now have to fight both Geralt. of them. Oh! No good here. I can't get us out. Sheila, that doesn't sound good. You have to get Sheila. Okay. I think we're supposed to go in the opposite direction, but I'm just checking. Ah, no! I didn't want to have to fight the dragon. Surely there must be another way. Okay, um, we probably saved earlier automatically um well this looks ominous i doubt this is even the right way i don't think so our quest indicator is not pointing us there it reminded me what are you doing you guys hey guys what's up hope things are going well <laughs> now we'll actually go in the direction where it says we're supposed to go here and I'm sure. Turn back while you can, Witcher. Oh, that's a creepy voice. One moment while I loot this stuff. Yeah, Sheila, we need to, we need to talk like a lot. You can't preferably stop me. not you, not anyone else. Preferably not when you have a dragon guarding you. Use. Oh, it's just that. What 
just making sure there's nothing hidden behind a corner here somewhere. Uh oh. Uh oh. So now apparently we need to run. If I have to, I will kill you. Whoa. Okay, that's a dragon. Ow. Do I actually need to fight the dragon right now? Uh oh. You're late. I've already managed to stabilize the portal. You've got nowhere to run. Sooner or later, somebody will find you. I prefer to leave on my own terms. Where's Letho? Sir Synthesis will tend to him. As she will Who? do all the fools who get a hard on at the mere thought of burning a sorceress at the stake. Huh? Where is he? I don't know, fool. I've been looking for him since Foltest's assassination. You've Let seen him already. All of us. We were deceived by his dull face and sluggish stare. That's Don't you understand? Not true. The Lodge sought a way to get rid of Denavend. That's true. He was a weak, volatile king. Edern would eventually choke to death under his rule. We chose the lesser evil. He had to be eliminated, and Letho happened to be at hand. Voltest, mm. Hensolt? We had nothing to do with that. Sure, After assassinating Denavend, Letho used our gold and magical support to find and meet Yorvet. The elf was to help him hide until the matter blew over, or so I thought. The Lodge did not condemn Votes to die. Then who did? Nilfgaard. Letho is the King of Liars and Emperor of Traitors. From the start, he worked for the glory of the Great Sun and the White Flame dancing on the graves of his foes. He lied to everyone. Me, your vet, your stupid little Triss, and you. Got any evidence? A moment ago, I received a message from the Lodge's agent in Sintra. The Imperial Army is on the move. They're fording the Yoruga now. Do you think the North can defend itself in the current situation? But can you count on another miracle at Brenna? I don't know, but you made it all possible and you'll answer for that. The stigma of treason is yours for all time. We shall see. For no one will leave this city alive. No one will tell this story. Philippa controls the dragon. As soon as I disappear, it will turn the city into a flaming tomb. We may have lost a battle, but the war is just beginning. You, however, shall not take part in it. This is your end, Witcher. Not so fast. Farewell! Oh, well, I'm, I'm standing right next to you. The diamond! Someone replace the diamond! Uh -oh. This one's flawed! I'll be torn to bits! Geralt, remove it! Mm. You okay. waited long enough. Should you survive, go south to Nilfgaard, where you'll find Yennefer of Vengerberg. Oh! Farewell, Witcher. Now that's a name I've been looking for. So we may have been able. Oh dear. Oh, hello, Saskia. Please don't freeze fire on us. I don't... Do I actually need to fight you? I don't want to fight you. No. I don't think I have much of a choice, do I? Probably need to draw a sword, like, right now. Damn. That's not very nice. You know this person. Sort of. Kind of. A little bit. Um, he does seem to be eyeing us very closely. Ow. Getting also very framey for whatever reason. It's a little bit unfortunate. Does seem as though whenever she does the dragon breath, that's the time to uh, swoop in for the attack. But we only can fit in a few before she does something like that. Then she'll do the breath. Go in for a one-two, get out of the way. You still have the point up, actually. Whoa, didn't see that coming. Ooh, okay, you got me that time. You got me that time. Give you that. Mm. 
gonna do the fire breath? Yep. Okay, come on. Stop fighting. I don't want to actually fight you. Philippa doesn't have to come down to this. We know you're the one behind all of it. Um, what? Excuse me? Uh, uh, this way? Question mark? Presumably we're supposed to jump down one of these, look or off, I guess. One of these locations. Um. Up again? Oh, no. I mean, are we, we are technically regenerating HP right now, so I'm just gonna take a second here. Oh, and... Well, good luck with that, because the dragon's back! Take that. Take what? Saskia! Whoa! Reason. Whoa! Hello again! Fancy seeing you here. Ow! Jeez. Yeah, I get it. You wanna, you know, like, lunge out at us. Probably gonna do attacks that would normally basically kill us in one hit. So I don't actually know yet how I'm supposed to fight you. You're obviously doing a lot of this stuff. Can I hit you when you're doing that? Nope. Ow. You do look kind of silly when you sidestep like that, not gonna lie. Oh, hello! Ah, I couldn't even get a hit in there. But I'm pretty sure she still dealt damage. When are we supposed to attack? That's what I want to know. Like, I can igni you, and surprisingly, that does deal damage. What about hard? That. No, that was not terribly effective, I'm afraid. I mean, she does jump out to attack us on occasion, like that, but even then, it just doesn't seem like there's much uh, time in which to hey, get in a hit. Oh, we were at least out of figure for a second there, which was concerning. There you go. This side. Ah, oh, you should have killed us there. Um, you every right to kill us there. We should be on zero HP right now. We basically are on zero HP right now. Did you actually deal damage to the sign? Apparently not. But you did there. Okay. I don't really know how we're supposed to fight the dragon. The one sign that I did not really try using was, uh, the trap, Yurden. So, I wonder if maybe we can place one around the edges, have her sidestep onto one, and stun her that way. Give us more of an opportunity to get some damage in, because we were dealing a little bit of damage, but it was basically just a hit and run, and didn't feel like that was necessarily the solution. I still really hope we don't actually have to the dragon slash Saskia. Okay, but we would be well suited, I think, to make sure we're on full HP before we go all the way up there. Um, we could even, can we, can we meditate right here? <laughs> can we drink potions right now? That would be very helpful. Uh, poisoning, that's not gonna help. The swallow, the swallow I think would be very helpful, yeah. Getting the vitality regeneration during combat, that would make a big difference. Let's do that. <laughs> I 
throw it off the ledge while we're at it. It's nothing. Make sure the sword is drawn. And we go. Put Quinn on immediately, but I'm not necessarily sure that that's the right answer. I'm gonna drop the Yurden. See what this is like. Well, of course you go to the other side immediately. I want you to drop on the other side. Parish would be okay. Now, can you sidestep this way? Doesn't do anything? Ooh, okay, that's good to know, but disappointing still. Does it suggest that we need a different answer? Oh, I can see, I dashed out of the way there. Just about as quickly as we possibly could. Which leads me to believe that, I'm, again, I, I just don't have a good solution. Whoa! What? That's... that's new. That is new. There we go. Whoa! More tail? Yup. Ow. Oh, and you get a free second hit in there. Really? What is the answer? We clearly don't know it. Oh, and I still was out of the way there. Uh really? I mean, we are whoa, dealing significantly more damage than we did the first time around. That much is true. Oh, and that still like, ignites us? So we're still gonna die from this. Yeah, we had the, the Quen sign up, but we still took the burning damage. Yikes. Like I said, we got closer that time, but this is a tough one. Not really sure what the answer is. Um, trying to think. We we went for Yurden. That didn't work. We did have the health regeneration sign, or uh, potion rather, going for us this time. It was certainly a quicker fight, so it was hard to tell just how much we did benefit from that. I think it is still a good option. What was it? The Swallow? My question is, actually, before we do this, though, might there be other useful potions that we can make? Maybe more on the offensive side of things? Or if there a way to improve our incineration resistance? Throw a dragon stream at the dragon? That might be a good idea. Maximum sword damage dealt by 10% is a tiny bit. Resistance to incineration might be helpful. I think that's worth making one of these. Certainly with all the bazillion ingredients we have of this variety, that seems fine. Could even make a couple. Don't think that's going to be terribly relevant, but we'll make a few. Poisoning? No. Bonus damage on signs. Eh. I mean, there is the chance that if we were if we were to go really slow, I think we could make sure that we have Quen up all the time and just hit with Ignis. But I don't think that that is going to be a great solution because I think we still deal way more damage with the sword. And we saw that, at least on some occasions, we can still take damage even when we have our Quen shield on. Ooh. Just a better version of the swallow? Possibly? I don't know about that. That's basically all we have. And 
when it comes to drinking potions, it looks like we only have the capacity to drink two before we are totally done. We have maxed out our toxicity meter. So if we were to pick here, defensively, Swallow plus Tawny Owl probably makes the most sense. Um, there was that damage potion that we saw, but I don't think we... Oh, or the incineration resistance. Hmm. Which one do we think is more relevant? 30% incineration resistance or something like 20% bigger regeneration during combat. One thing that I think is worth taking note of, maybe before we make that decision, is if we look at our inventory and look at what our current incineration resistance is, I feel like it's pretty high. We have 50 from that. We have two from this. We're at 52, we're at 60. Let's see, include those eight there. Whoa, we're at 80. Let's see, include that. So actually, if we get a, an additional 30%, that should bring us over 100%. Now, I don't know exactly how those resistances scale, if it's truly linear or not. If it is linear, then that means we have 110% incineration resistance. We shouldn't be able to get incinerated. That seems like that would make a huge difference. So by that metric, that would lead me to believe that uh, the way to go would be to drink one of these guys and drink one of these guys. Could we actually get a Tawny Owl in there as well? We can. Oh. I like that a lot. Okay. I think this is the answer. At least defensively, I think this will make a huge difference. Offensively and mechanics-wise, I don't necessarily think we have the best solution just yet. But that might be enough to push us over the edge. Let's save here just so that we don't... Oh, we can't. Never mind. It's going to say just so that we don't have to re-brew and take all those potions for each of these fights if, in fact, we do need to give us a few more attempts, but let's quen it up and bring back the dragon. Okay, I think rolling out of the way. This didn't work so well. Did not have Quinn on that side. That was not close enough. Ooh, bad place to stand. And you're gonna hit me with the follow-up, because that's what happens when you stand there. Okay, so now we want to make sure we give ourselves enough time to regenerate some of that HP, which is not happening nearly as quickly as I thought it might. That is miraculous that, that didn't hit us. Oh, I swear I rolled in the opposite direction there. We have not really tried Ard Signs very much. Oh, okay, tail coming. Watch out for the tail again. Possibly, maybe. I was curious if we could blast that little rubble in the dragon's face. Oh, I only saw it at the last second. Oh, hello. Nice to meet you, too. Where'd you go? You're directly behind us. Mm, still didn't roll way far enough. Does that do anything at all? Not sure that it did. Let's go. We did still get incinerated. We should have 100% incineration resistance. Why did that happen? I object. Okay. Fail again. Probably. Yep.
Okay. It's not going as well as I might have hoped it would go. That included. Okay, super lucky that we didn't get hit there. Presumably, we are going to, yep, do that again. We probably deserve to get hit less that second time than we did the first time. Okay, more of this coming, and it probably means if we do get hit that we are going to die. Yep. Yep. Okay, I, uh, I don't have an answer. I don't have an answer. And for that reason, you know, I, I tried mixing things up a little bit with the potions, and with mixed success, I think that may have still been our most successful attempt thus far, but it still feels like we're missing something here, because in the past, whenever we've had any of the major boss fights like this, it seemed like there's always been a key, there's always been a, a right way to do the fights, where it suddenly becomes significantly easier and I just don't feel like we found that yet like for example with Lepo it was spam him with art signs left right and center and back him into a wall and just attack with your sword non-stop Kayron obviously was using the Yurden signs with the leader of the Dun banner it was trap him with Yurden and then follow up with some sword swings there rinse repeat and haven't really found that yet um hmm I was gonna say we've seemingly tried just about every sign at this point. The one sign we definitely have not tried yet would be <laughs> the Axie mind control sign, which normally doesn't work on powerful enemies. But then of course, remember that this dragon is currently being mind controlled. So I'm still pretty doubtful that that would work, but I feel like this nonetheless is probably a good place for us to wrap up here. And I'll have to think on this one as to what might be a new way for us to try to approach this fight that might be more successful. So, hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I'll catch you in the next one.